Good morning everyone. I hope you all made it on time for church this morning as the clocks went forward last night. So glad you could join us. If there's ever been a time to show that church is not about the building, then that time is now. Welcome to church. Have you ever been on a treasure hunt or found something that has been buried or lost? Many people at the moment have begun their spring cleaning um, because they've got plenty of time on their hands. Have you unearthed anything that um, had been buried that you would thought you'd lost? Well, we are in the fifth Sunday of Lent today and we are moving closer towards Easter. Today's lectionary reading is the death of Lazarus, or should I say, the resurrection of Lazarus, which is a pointer towards Easter Day without giving too much away. Now, the reading, if you want to look it up later, is John chapter 11, verses 1 to 45. That's quite a long reading, so we're not actually going to read it today. But here we see a dear friend of Jesus called Lazarus, who got really sick and died. Now, Lazarus was the brother of Mary and Martha from Bethany, and they were all dear friends of Jesus. Now, when Jesus received a message saying that his friend was sick, Jesus said that this would not lead to death, but rather the glory of God would be shown to all. Jesus was not only talking about Lazarus coming back to life, but also what this would mean for those watching, what they would also believe. Now, Jesus knew that Lazarus had died and he made the slow journey to Bethany where he met Lazarus' sisters, Mary and Martha. And it says that Jesus was deeply moved in spirit and greatly troubled. Here we see Jesus having compassion and empathy as he weeps with them and struggles with the loss of a friend. Now Lazarus had been dead for around three or four days and as they approached the tomb, he said to uh, Martha, did I not tell you if you believed you would see the glory of God? And he said, Lazarus, come out. And he was still covered in the clothes he was buried in and he walked out of the tomb. Now, one thing that stood out to me, apart from Lazarus being, Lazarus being brought back to life, is that Jesus told Martha that her brother would rise again. And Martha said to him that she believed that her brother would rise again on the last day in the resurrection. Jesus told her that he was the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, although they die, will live. And everyone who believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? The main point was to demonstrate that he who is the resurrection and the life is the Son of God and that believing in him brings everlasting life. Now, If you look at the Gospel of John, it is written that you would believe and receive eternal life. Jesus is demonstrating the resurrection power of God 
which also they would see again after he himself comes back to life after his resurrection. Now at this present time, we are surrounded by uncertainty. We are surrounded by isolation, loneliness, and for some, they are surrounded by grief. Where do we see this resurrection power that we read and hear about in John's Gospel? And in the midst of our grief and uncertainty, which many people are facing. Well, in this time of disruption and anxiety, we are seeing people coming together. We see churches, communities, councils and the government all working together to beat this. And for once in our lives, apart from Brexit, we are all facing the same thing. And it's in these situations that you find unity. It's when we are united like this together, we are reminded that God is with us at all times. That we see resurrection of hope, resurrection of our strength and courage. And we see resurrection of our faith as God begins to restore and rebuild our lives each and every day. Turning negatives into positives and we can gain comfort in knowing that he is with us always emotionally physically and spiritually there is so much depth to the love that God has for us he wants us to experience this in our lives through his presence and we can see God's resurrection power all around us and even if you're new to church or you're exploring your faith you can restore and renew through God. God can restore and renew and bring situations back to life that you've got buried under the weight of all that is going on right now. So as a community, as a church, now is the time to be working together to help each other's each other. And anyone can help in some way. Number one, by staying at home. And number two, you might remember this from ITV. Britain get talking. Well, now is the time to unearth that and get talking to your neighbours, either on social media or by phone or even from distance over the garden wall or sending a picture or card or even praying with somebody can make a difference. Portland get talking and help keep fellowship alive. Help keep hope alive. Help keep faith alive by showing each other that we can have resurrection life through Christ. Amen. May God bless you in the days and weeks ahead and may you find life in buried places. Amen.